electricity? Fans make electricity? Yeah. Interesting. How? It's too white for us. Mm -hmm. So how about this? Mm. That's not a good idea. This guy has been fed, changed, and dressed in one of Aubrey's hand-me-downs. So we're going to go ahead and put him in his little jumper so I can get Aubrey some food. I didn't wake up in time to go to church with them. That was on my to-do list today, and then we were probably going to go to Starbucks. So instead, we are just going to eat some of my leftover cinnamon rolls and probably make myself a coffee smoothie before we go to the library today. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. So Aubrey said she wanted some pumpkin bread. We made this yesterday together. It's super yummy. Let me know if you guys want me to make it. I have some more pumpkin that I need to use up anyways. Here you go. Hi. Good morning. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm watching him play. Aubrey, why don't you tell the channel about your invention? Mommy, he can have this again. Oh, that was nice. Can you tell the channel about your invention? He, he goes. He will need this. But he can have this. I know I got my cheek away again. Tell me about your creation down here, Aubrey. Look at those chubby legs. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Why is Bubba not jumping? I don't know. Bubba. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, yeah, bouncy, yeah, bouncy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to jump with me? Energy is going through your invention. Mommy, it's going right by you now. Oh, woo, I got the energy. Yeah, but the energy flows sometimes. Oh. I didn't fix it yet, but I did now. Well, are you a scientist? I've been letting her watch Ada Twist Scientist on Netflix, and I actually kind of like it. I mean, Obviously, we try to limit screen time as much as possible, but, you know, when I do give her, like, a show and whatever, it's a cute little show. They have some science things going on. They talk about it. They talk about not giving up. They form hypotheses and things like that. So, Aubrey's a little scientist, huh? So, Aubrey likes to say she's a scientist, and I'm like, yes, and I'm a mathematician, and we work together, and so it's, I, I think it's beneficial for her. So, we got my coffee smoothie. Just made it. My cinnamon roll that I made when we had some family over and it was left over. So I know it's not the healthiest, but I'll definitely feel like a sugar rush and wake up after this because we had a really rough night. Wow. That's a lot of kinetic energy. It's going right to you now. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, I got it now. Whoa. Oh, okay. And she has some with it's feeling. We it got in the ceiling? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Great invention. 
Okay, so I just finished breakfast. I am gonna get dressed and more acceptable myself, and then I'm gonna get Aubrey dressed and her hair done, and then it will probably be time to head to the library. Hopefully Jack will fall asleep in the car ride and sleep even after we get him out because he never naps that long in his car seat, so hoping that works out for us. And I forgot to mention that yesterday was actually our first time at the library, and you guys know me, first time experiences, I it was I was a little too stressed because it was like a last minute invite from a friend that I met at Starbucks. And she was like, the library during the summer has like reading and songs for the little kids. And she, it was like, I had an hour to like make the decision, get ready, get the kids ready and go. Uh, so anyway, so I didn't film it, but it was a, it was a cute little outing for the kids. Um, Aubrey didn't warm up until like the very end. But today they're doing crafts, so you guys know me, I have to go to that. So I will make sure to film a little clips there, not invade too, other, too many people's privacy, but uh, I'll try to film as much as we can, and then we're gonna get a library card. But you guys can hear Jack, he's probably getting tired. I gotta get us ready. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'll check in uh, in a little bit. <laughs> So this little guy is super sleepy and it is like 45 minutes until the crafting session starts. It takes us only like five to 10 minutes to get there, but we might go there early and just kind of walk around in the stroller because I assume he'll fall asleep for sure. Miss Aubrey is all dressed and I'm excited to see what we're gonna craft today. Let's see if we can see your teeth. Can we see your teeth? Oh, yes, we can. Just a little bit. Oh, you got two teeth. High five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we made it here. Someone didn't fall asleep. So we're going to hope that a little walking Mommy, stroller will do it. Off this sickle. Mommy, uh -huh. it looks like a don't go the way almost. Oh, that's good. Bob's, are you going to fall asleep? And mommy, baby, Bilbo so. got here. Maybe. Let's do a little walk before library craft time, okay? Okay, so we recently got home. Aubrey and I each got our own library card. It has been a while since I've had like a city library card. And under Aubrey's card, she was the one who handed her card up. We checked out four books and also signed up both of the kids for the summer reading program. They offer lots of little incentives and toys that people can like get if you hit a goal for each week. So like certain number of books, minutes, or pages read. So, 
both of the kids are signed up for that. Now I just have to keep track of it all. I kind of feel a little overwhelmed, like, oh, I'm gonna forget. There's an app that I have to get and like log in this stuff. But, you know, I'm excited that my friend told me about the programs. Um, we went today, obviously, for the crafts. Yesterday was like a singing and dancing one and like they read books at each one. And then tomorrow, I think they're having like a juggler or some type of performer. So we might go to that. And, you know, like I said earlier today, we meant to go to church today, but I always put it in God's hands. So he didn't wake me up in time today. And it's kind of like, he knows that I was <laughs> exhausted from last night. For some reason, Jack is just not sleeping that great. And I'm debating on whether or not I need to sleep train him just yet because I don't think he's just nursing for comfort. He actually like drains the boob. Um, unlike Aubrey at six months, I could just tell she was nursing for comfort and that was when I was like, okay, I'm sleep training. But with Jack, I don't know. I mean, I kind of feel like maybe he's just going through a growth spurt. I'm hoping it's just that and then we'll get back to like better night's sleep, but we will see about that. Anyways, right now I got Aubrey lunch. I ate some lunch. Jack obviously is just doing milk right now. We are going to start feeding him after we go to his doctor's appointment in like a week and a half. But I'm going to be preparing some pouches of like applesauce for Aubrey to snack on. And if we want to give him applesauce before the doctor's appointment, it'll be in our little reusable pouches where the spoon attachment also can like hook on. And then um, I think I'm going to prepare some oatmeal and like freeze it for him as well. So let me go ahead and do that right now and bring you guys along with me. Now that the baby food has been made, I put it in the freezer and the fridge. I'll probably let Jack just kind of like feel around when we're eating dinner tonight and see if he puts any in his mouth and just kind of expose him that way. But meanwhile, uh, Aubrey is sleeping, Jack is napping, so this is very rare. She's been actually taking a lot of naps recently and I think it's probably because of a growth spurt. So I'm thankful that I get some free time. So I'm watching, re-watching the originals because uh, I finished Vampire Diaries. I was binging that for a while. This arrived in the mail. Um, Jack loves his little bouncer thing, but whenever we're out and about, or if like I go to Starbucks, I don't always want to just like have him on my lap. So I got this little like bouncy pop-up, like little activity 
what's it called? A, uh, an activity center. And I was, I, I had never seen any of them out and about. And I looked online thinking like, hey, if this hasn't been created, I wanna create one. And I wish I knew how, because I think it's a money maker, but they do have a product like this on Amazon, but it's like a compact thing that you just, you know, open up like a little chair that you'd put at a soccer game or something. And the kiddos can stand in there, bounce in there and play in there. And then you can fold it up. So I'm going to leave this like in the car, but let's go ahead and open this up. Also, my kitchen is a mess and I'm expecting my parents, um, in like the next half an hour and they're gonna be here for dinner. So let's set this up, clean up the kitchen and I have another product that I wanna tell you guys about. I'd like to thank Fentech for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this over-the-door organizer that has a variety of uses, which I will mention in a second. The product consists of the organizer with five pockets, sturdy metal hooks, and support rods to enhance the stability of the storage bag. To assemble the product, I connected the rods in sets of two and slid them into the little pockets on the back of the bag. Then I secured them in place with a little Velcro strap and fed the hooks through the holes at the top of the organizer. I like how the hooks don't scratch our door or door frame and that we are still able to open and close our door with ease. This product is advertised as a way to store stuffed animals, but I plan on using it for craft storage when I finally get around to organizing my craft area in our master closet. I think my vinyl and Cricut supplies will fit nicely in the pockets. You could also organize outfits, baby essentials, pantry items, or coat closet items using this product. I will place the Amazon link down below in the description box for your convenience if you'd like to pick up this awesome item. Again, I'd like to thank Fentech for sponsoring this portion of today's video and helping me get more organized in my little home. So my parents arrived and hung out with us for a little bit and now we're at Baker's which is a kind of a new place for us. This little guy's being really talkative and we're just enjoying some dinner. Mommy, uh -huh. is it okay if we mix the kiddos? Yes. Alright, you're doing a great job. You're doing yeah, a great it's job. Fun coloring together. Yeah. It's fun coloring together. It is, huh Aubrey? Mm. That's a great job. Spending quality time with Papa, huh? I like <laughs> all right guys we are home now i'm gonna wrap up this video my parents uh they came back with us we talked about different plants and just kind of like how we hope to kind of finish off our yard uh, i let jack kind of test out his new little 
um, activity jumper thing. Although I didn't let him be in, it, be in it for long because this is TMI, but he hasn't pooped. He didn't poop yesterday and he hasn't pooped yet today. And usually he's like a one once a day kind of guy with like a full blowout. So I'm like awaiting the worst blowout ever. And I didn't want it to be in our new jumper thing. And we were trying so hard to come up with like the best, not come up, but like think of the best word. It's not breaking in the item. It's not like initiating the item, but we, we couldn't think of the word, you know, like when you get something new and then something happens to it and it's just like not the same. It's not new anymore. It's kind of like breaking it in, but there's a, there's a word. If you guys know the word, please put it in the comments because my mom and I and my dad, and like everyone, we were like, what is that that one word? It's kind of like when you get welcomed into a sorority or I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the word is. Okay, I'm not going to go on much longer about this. But anyways, I didn't want him to ruin essentially his brand new jumper thing. So I took him out. He's now playing on the floor. Aubrey's eating some snacks because at dinner she's kind of picky when we go out to eat. So I have something for her and I just hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this day in the life. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That's okay. And if you guys are new here and stumbling upon my channel, I would love to have you guys stick around and subscribe and check out all that I have to offer, all of my motherhood content, and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.